Hello, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can create your own share comments. We're gonna use one plugin and that's auto share. First of all, let's see some examples. So I'm gonna open YouTube and here I'm inside YouTube and you can see here the share button. So when I click on the share button, I can choose for example auto share comments. So I'm gonna do that and I have several options. For example, send it to my PC copy to the clipboard play in chrome flash data so for this example i'm gonna use flash data and that will show me the data inside the share commands so i'm gonna click there right now and you see here the data from that video so after that i can do several things with the data that's one example another example is sending files from my phone to my pc or laptop so i'm gonna open for example explorer and here i'm inside a folder with images so when i long press an image i can share it with auto share command and then i can send it to my pc or laptop i can do that everywhere for example also in my gallery so i gonna cancel that and i gonna open my gallery and here i have a picture on my phone so i can use the share button again here and i can send it with auto share here auto share commands so i have the same pop-up so as you see you can create your own share commands in this tutorial i will explain how to do that gonna cancel that right now and i'm gonna open tasker so the first thing i'm gonna do is create a task I, so i created as data so when i open that task there is only one thing and that's for example the flash variable as text so what will it do so it will flash the data inside that share command so as you saw in YouTube when I clicked on the command flash data it showed me the data behind the share command okay I hope you understand that so if you don't understand let me open again that YouTube here inside YouTube click on the share button and then auto share command and you will see here flash data and when I click on that it will show me the data behind that video so that's what i'm doing there inside my task so i'm gonna use as text we can use several variables for example es text es file etc etc so in this case i use the text when i send files from my phone to my computer i use es file with auto remote of course so we have created our task that's all we need to do and you have to do only one more thing and that's inside your plugin auto share so let's open auto share right now here inside auto share you see here manage commands when you click on that you will see here flash data you can create a new command by clicking the plus icon so the flash data is only one thing you can enter a new name for the command and in my case I used flash data that's all you need to do okay when you have done that go back to your task and create a new profile and inside your profile we have here an auto share command so that's quite easy plus states then choose plugin and then choose auto share okay and inside that auto share command let's open that right now you use here command flash data so when you click on the edit button you can choose here event behavior is on of course and the command filter you have to choose from your auto share commands so in this case we created that before the flash data let's cancel that and go back and the task related to that profile is es data so that's quite easy so on this way you can create your own share commands and other commands and it will be much faster also maybe you are interested in sending files from my phone to my computer we use auto remote it's quite easy let me open that right now and i have here es sent to my pc let me open that the auto share command is sent to pc that i created inside auto share itself and we use a task 
AS sent to my PC. And the task, let me open the task, is quite easy. First is a flash, files has been transmitted, and then we use an auto remote message, and we use also a flash AS file one, the first one. So in the auto remote message, we'll be using event ghost PC, and the message will be files, and the file will be ES file, the first one. So the only thing you need to create is also the message file inside your auto remote itself and inside your event ghost of course so that's quite easy that's all you need to do so if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you have any questions or comments you can leave that on my google plus community or youtube channel and see you next time bye